I want to show you this really cute hotel room they uh, gave me here. Uh, well, not the hotel room, but basically it has a balcony. It's going like around all the hotel room and it looks like a fortress like you can actually you can go out and this like all belongs to the room oh by the way you know what is there it's for the internet like the satellite If you come to the Medina during the day or during the morning, this is basically how it looks like. Everything is uh, closed. And if you would come here at night, like it's crazy, it's so many people. All these, they are shops, but uh, they are closed. Now in the morning, the only part of uh, the market that is open is basically the part with the fruits, vegetables and the uh, food. So we are getting some street food. Yeah. don't actually know what exactly this is like pancakes but salty it is time for lunch so we are getting tagine it's the most typical moroccan food and it is cooked in these specific pyramid shaped pots and this is what moroccan families eat when they get together and it's usually made with chicken beef or vegetables uh, anyway i got couscous instead after lunch, we stopped by on a local farm to try camel milk. Here in Morocco, camels are and always have been a big part of life. And camel milk is often consumed with dates. And camel milk and dates were one of the reasons people were able to survive in the harsh environment of the Sahara. And you know the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So in the Arabic countries, they have the same, but with dates. You should eat seven dates each morning to keep the doctor away before hitting the labyrinth of the old town we are getting some moroccan cookies and these are moroccan pancakes they usually eat it with butter and jam and also berber whiskey this is how they call moroccan mint tea now we are going to check out the old town the center and in some cases i prefer to take a local person or a guide to show me around because i do not always feel extremely safe walking around alone on hidden and dark streets so that's what we are going to do for the restaurant for the restaurant okay yes. it's okay for you if i take videos and pictures for me yes yes okay perfect yeah. now it's a museum yeah for this for the museum arabic area jewish area before this is berber area this is pretty yeah so this is berber area so this is door for the for the woman, another for the man. Okay. Yeah. But this is different for the words as that it means it's quiet. But this is how you get to the synagogue? No, this just this is Berber area after It's cedar and cedar, eucalyptus. eucalyptus. yes. Wow. And why they use eucalyptus? Eucalyptus for Moyen Atlas in another city, very cold for the men. Okay. But it's very cold, I come in for eucalyptus in cedar. Jewish area or This is Jewish area. This is old synagogue. Ah, okay, cool. Hello. Hello. Are you fine? Three languages. This is Jewish. Yeah, it is it was for Jewish, Berber, and French. Ah, Jewish, Berber, and French. 
Is it Swiss, Berber? And French. Yeah. Wow, it fell down. Yeah, this is only for the rain, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is no, this is also what well, normally people do everywhere. Ah, okay, yeah. it's so this is all for small. Ah, it's like a yeah. window. Yeah, this is window to this now. How do you know all these little streets? But what is the nicest thing you have in the shop? What do you think? Everything. Everything. Is mixed. We have Berber Adidas. Berber Adidas? Yes, Berber shoes. <laughs> we have uh, for make Berber whiskey. Berber tea. Whiskey. Tea. We have dromader. Yes. Leathers and uh, with wall and with stone. All butter, stone. Perfect. It's okay? Yes. Put your bag. Okay. They are about to show me how to put on Berber trousers. Good, uh, good video. Good. And the second. Oh, you need to tie it. Yeah. Two note, first and second. Ah, oh, okay. This is the same Medina we visited in the morning, but in the morning most of the shops were closed. So now it's late afternoon and it's starting to get busy. All right, we are going to finish the day with a Moroccan soup which is called Harira. It's basically a tomato based soup made with lentils and chickpeas and herbs and several spices. I would leave a recommendation for this place because apparently this is the best one in the town but honestly I have no idea where are we at in this huge labyrinth.